Hi, my name is Jay Osa. I teach, mentor, and coach people win with their speeches. In this video, I want to talk about the Democratic National Convention that ended last week. Now, there were a lot of speeches given, and a week has now gone by. And I can only remember two speeches. One was Tim Kaine's acceptance speech as the vice president. And the second one was the speech given by Kazir Khan, father of an American hero who died in Iraq. Let me tell you why these two speeches are the ones I remember. Let's start with Tim Kaine. Now most people think that it was a pretty bland speech. You know, he doesn't compare with uh, the oratory skills that of Joe Biden, Michelle Obama, or even Barack Obama. But I think he did something in that speech which was quite memorable. If you watch that speech, and I will have a, a link in the description section of this video, when he does an impression of Donald Trump, believe me, you remember that? Watch it. I remember that. And you know why? It was unexpected, different. Is he a good actor? Does, is he, does he mimic Donald Trump accurately in any way? Is he a comedian? No. He took a risk. And that, to me, makes that part memorable. It was unexpected. You wouldn't expect him to do something like that. And when he did it, it was effective. It worked. At least for me, it worked. Watch it again and tell me whether it worked for you. Where he says, Donald Trump would like to tell you, believe me, that I paid my fair share of taxes. I thought that was effective. He got his point across. It doesn't matter whether he was perfect with his impression or not. That wasn't the point. He took a risk and it worked. So I find found Tim Kaine's speech to be memorable. I remember it to this day. The second one, of course, most people are talking about is Kazir Khan's speech where he takes out the Constitution and asks Donald Trump, have you even read the United States Constitution? I will give you my copy. That is risk. I'll tell you why. Other speakers all talked about things that Donald Trump has done that makes him unqualified. What Kazir Khan did was something, not just telling why he was not qualified. He gets to the heart of the matter, that this, that this is constitution, which stands above everything. And Kazir Khan being a gold star father and his wife, Ghazala Khan, being a gold star mother, they stand at the top when it comes to sacrifice. And rather than just say, Donald Trump, you shouldn't speak ill of the Muslims, you shouldn't do this, he just said, do you even know what the Constitution says? Highly effective, worked, memorable. So the point of me bringing these two speeches from the Democratic National Convention is that when you're giving a speech, people are not going to remember, no matter how good a speaker you are. And we had some excellent speakers. Oh, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, you name it. These two stand out after a week because it contained two things that were highly memorable. When you're giving a speech, find that 
memorable moment in that in your speech because that's all people are gonna remember days weeks from you give you the day you give your speech that's what matters think about it let me know what you think and thank you for watching